The Kansas City Royals hosting the New York Yankees, and the Yankees are minus 185 on the money line. The Royals are plus 165. The over-under is eight runs. The Yankees, laying a run and a half, meaning they have to win the game by two, are minus 120. The Royals, getting a run and a half, are plus 100, meaning if they lose the game by one or they win the game outright, you'd win. Now, Cortez did pitch against the Royals last year twice. Uh, two and two-thirds, no runs, no earned. The Yankees won that game 8-1. to one. Five and two-thirds, five runs, four earned. They lost that game 8-4. to four. Bubich pitched once against the Yankees, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing his name. If I'm saying it wrong, someone correct me in the comments. Two and a third, no runs, no earned. They won that game 6-5. to five. The Yankees are on a six-game winning streak. The Royals are on a one-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, the Yankees are 7-3 and three in their past 10 against the Royals. The team getting a run and a half is 6-4, and four, and the over eight runs is 9-1 and one in their past 10 meetings. So I went back and looked. Saw that they scored more than nine, uh, eight runs in nine out of their ten games. So that's how I pick my over and under. I'm going to take the Yankees with the money line. I will take the Royals with the runs. And I'm going to go over the eight. The Yankees have been winning, and they have been winning by two. I don't want this to be the game where there's the hiccup, even though you see the pitcher's ERA for the Royals. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if the Royals keep this game close. Let's see if I'm wrong.